Uh, hello everyone and uh, welcome back. So in the previous video we created this database module nice and clean and uh, in this database module we will we are doing a dynamic initialization of this module. We were using for root async. So there are different methods like for feature, for root, for root async. So here we are doing a asynchronous initialization of this module with the help of config service. So whenever you write a for root async, this same pattern you can see in the nest.js redis in the passport module or in the mongoose module that whenever you are doing a dynamic initialization you have to use use factory to give us the required configuration object so either you just provide the whole connection object here which is having username password port and all these things otherwise you inject the config service and config service will help you to get all the required configurations so here i'm passing the db config and I'm injecting config service. Config service is helping me to give all the information about my SQL host port username. Here I just did a check, okay, because I'm passing database type. If type is my SQL, otherwise I will be returning database type is not supported. So while initializing the nest.js, it will throw an error. So here is our env. DB type is my SQL, user is root, test, my SQL DB host is my SQL. This is the container name db dialect so we are good now we can bootstrap our application okay so this database module will be able to give us what we need now what we are going to do is we will be injecting this uh, database module in our app module or you can create a feature module or inject it so what i want is in the whole application we are going to have many modules oh now i'm going to remove all the other modules which i don't need so it's better so we are I'm already initializing it app controller because the earlier code was with the mongodb with uh, nestjs so i'll be removing it here in the imports i will be using a db module database module dot for root is a method and in this for root i will be passing the object now what this for root is re required db config db config is nothing but a set of entities so you can say db config is being passed here and the get connection object this db config is accessing some entities entity is nothing but an array of entities which we are going to initialize with the t type or so in database we are connecting with the mysql mysql database will have entities so we are going to create all those, those entities in the entity folder like user post comments okay those entities we need to pass in the for root Okay, you can just separate them out in an array. So here we can say entities and it can be an array of all the entities which you wanted to pass. Okay, now once you have done this uh, root initialization in the main module, what you have to do to access these entities in the feature module, like I have host module. So what I will do is here I will write for feature. Here I will just do type or a module. Type or a module dot for feature and I will pass the entity which I wanted to access. Like I wanted to access only post. Something like this. We would not need these things. Okay. Now in this module you will write your own controller services and all. Now you can access the post entity so you will be able to access the post repository and able to do all the things with this post entity okay so once you have done that in the root initialization in the post module all the, if you pass the, all the entities so we can create our some of the entities entities are nothing but uh, what you can say like contact entity just for an example so here in the entities i can create contact entity and I don't need interface for now just creating a simple entity <coughs> okay why is creating problem export class contact entity So I created a contact.ts 
we don't need interface for now okay I need to just change this TS config okay in, this is just a warning now what I what I can do is I can import that entity here in the root module I will be providing all the entities and I have contact entity it is giving me export almost you can say export default then we don't need this we are just getting the default export default contact entity and we'll be passing it here okay same thing uh, if you have in the post entity if you have post entity then you can just pass that in the post module also like if you are accessing this similarly here we can have a post entity contact entity okay it's relative export we don't need it and it should be an array I think yeah this is fine so this is how we will be passing it okay this is an array and that is also an array now once this we will pass all the entities which we have in the system like user entity post entity contact entity all the entities here so in the next video we will just run this application with the one single entity so once this is initialized in your feature module what you need to do is type rm module dot for feature that entity and in the services of this particular module you will write post service post controller post DTO in the services you will be able to access a contact, contact repository user repository and all these things okay uh, coming to the quick recap here we have created a database module which is giving us the database object okay I mean we just need to call database uh, module dot for root it will take care of the database connection now rest of the thing is passing the entities entity is an array when you are adding this database module or initializing this database module in the app module we have to import all the modules in the app module which is a root module so you have to pass all the entities array okay for root I'm passing the entities array and what it is returning it is returning returning this connection information so all this connection information plus the entities and logging this is what I'm getting so because we need to pass all the entities also to type rm module so the type rm module will be aware okay these are the entities i need to deal with okay these are all the entities uh, repositories i will be able to create in memory 